Welcome to Clickshare.com. I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to keep up my promise by creating a series of posts on how to integrate Google Analytics within ClickView. Before we proceed further, I wanted to highlight an important point, which is uh, I would strongly recommend using QV Source because they have done commendable job with connectors like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, blog search, and uh, sentiment analysis, and many more in fact. I've used the trial version, and it's a great product for every business which needs social media data integration. So please check their website, which is www.qvsource.com. So let's get started, and let's look at the presentation. So before we start, before we get started, I would recommend you using QV Source. Like I said, I've given you enough reasons to buy QV Source, which is a fantastic tool. So with this approach, uh, I'll not be using QV Source, but I'll be using a Java utility. So you need uh, to install Java 5 or higher to use this utility. So full credit to Pavel for writing this Java utility, thanks to him. I would strongly recommend you to read the Google Analytics or GA documentation for full understanding of dimensions and metrics. There are loads of dimensions and metrics, so you need to understand uh, some, you need some basic grounding about how dimensions and metrics work within Google Analytics. Also, I understand that most of you don't have access to Google Analytics data. If this is the case, then please contact me through my blog and I'll provide you a temporary user access on my drawing blog. By the way, for those who don't know, I love pencil drawings. And before I was introduced to ClickView, I used to spend loads of time drawing. I'll definitely show you my drawing blog and then uh, we will look at some data sets from drawing blog and then we will see how we can integrate within ClickView. So before we proceed further, uh, let me talk about Google Analytics. Google Analytics provide excellent reporting interface for free. Although I prefer working with associative logic within ClickView, I'm sure most of you prefer integrating your web analytics data with your business analytics data. This gives wider insights about your business, especially if you're running an e-commerce business. Let's look at the architecture, high level architecture. The data collection starts when the user requests a page from the web server. When the visitor's browser reaches the GTAC code, which is nothing but Google Analytics tracking code, and the code starts to execute. So GTAC code is a simple JavaScript code which sits within your website. So when the execution of GTAC code starts, at the same time, uh, it captures visitors' inf environment information and stores it in first-party cookie. And at the same time, GTAC also downloads the uh, GA.js. This does the heavy lifting of capturing the data. It downloads the GA.js file from Google Analytics server. And then it sends the information and it writes to a temporary storage, something like a log file, and it writes information about page view events and other configuration settings which you might have declared and it captures within this log file. And then the log file uh, is used by processing engine. I think this processing engine runs once in three hours. That's what I've read, I think, uh, a couple of years back, but it must have changed. So anyway, this processing engine actually takes the data from the log file, and then it applies the configuration settings, and then it, it creates the fields and applies the filters based on your configuration settings. And if you look at the actual Google Analytics report, itself so it will fetch the data from this particular database so this is just a very very high level overview about how uh, google analytics works but i think uh, i would recommend you to read uh, google analytics book by justin it, it's a fantastic book and it gives you complete insight about how to use google analytics and other configuration set and i would also recommend uh, to look at some videos on youtube which are available through google io so that's pretty much for this video and uh, uh, let me show you my drawing blog so that we will use that uh, to integrate within clickview so let me jump to the browser okay this is where it is so it's, it's a simple blog and I think it has minimum number of users who are hitting it. So, and it's uh, called uh, 
only graphite.blogspot.co.uk. In the next set of videos, I'll show you how to integrate Google Analytics API within ClickView to fetch the data from Google Analytics server. So that's it for now, and I would strongly recommend you to participate in ClickView question of the day. Thank you for watching and have a good day.